What's up, guys? Rick from Rick's Rock School. Happy New Year. It's good to be back. Shout out to Alex Malco. Shout out to Trevor Bernard and everybody else from the feds that wanted me to do June Song Provision. Uh, and I got a lot of requests for the acoustic version of June Song specifically. So I have a lot of fun with this one, guys. Today, we're going to drop our guitars down to drop D, first and foremost, if you couldn't tell. We'll drop D action. And real quick, if you are in the market, for an acoustic guitar, let me recommend you search for, for, for these here. Not just Alvarez in general, but this is a mid-70s Alvarez uh, from Japan. The ones that were handmade in Japan are great. Made, they were made to be like Martin knockoffs to kind of compete with Martin. And they're still floating around. I got this one for 200 bucks about 10 years ago. Uh, most people that have them don't know what they have. So search around for some Japanese Alvarez's and save yourself some money instead of spending two grand on a tailor or something like that. Uh, this one was my old war horse. I've done hundreds of gigs with this guitar and it goes toe to toe with my 72 Gibson. And like I said, I paid 200 bucks for it. So 70s Japanese Alvarez commercial over. Let's get right down to learning the song, guys. Again, we're in drop D. We're starting off here on a B power chord. If you're going to play the drop D style B power chord, it's on the ninth fret. You're going to use your, I'm going to, personally here, I'm going to use my ring finger uh, to cover these three notes. So the E string, A string, D string, and you want to block out, you want to block out these, the, the E, the B, and the G there, because if you get that noise, you don't want that. You'll that's our power chord. So we're going to the drop D, the open drop D power chord. This is an inverted D major third. It's a D and an F sharp. Here's your F sharp, here's your D, here is your F sharp. Quick, why is it inverted? It's upside down. The root is D, but F sharp is in the bass here. So flipped it up, it's inverted. So we got an inverted chord inversion there. We go back to our open drop D. We're gonna go. So we're trying to catch these chords on ups. I'll strum the initial one to get it started on a down. But then we go up, 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 up. And it's important to keep your hand moving to make that happen. So from there, from that inverted D, a D over F sharp chord, you're gonna catch that another open drop D. Then we're gonna catch this. This is another inversion. We have a G, a D, and an A. Uh, D and A belong in the D major chord to begin with. Uh, the G is gonna make it D sus four. Like, you know, sus four action. So that G is going to be in the bass. You get your A, you get your D, you get your G bit of a suspended chord and that sounds really nice and again we are trying to block out those three so don't get this no good shift the weight and your energy and your focus of that first finger to the top three strings so slow down we have this now we get here on and up strum we're going to catch a normal d power chord fifth fret a and the seventh fret of the d and we're going to go and we're going to bring that first finger back to a C sharp. Leave the ring finger where it is. You just bring it back to the fourth fret. And then we, you want to catch the B chord again on and up. And that'll keep this whole thing going. So slowly you get this. See, it's really catchy. It's why we all love this song. So, now, there's a million different ways on, on YouTube to, to play this song, and Claudio himself plays it differently. I'm going to post a link to the one that I really watched from back in the day. It's an old grainy video from the early 2000s. Uh, and, he, and he plays it actually slower than it is on the recording or a lot of the other acoustic versions. Um, and and he, he was playing this chord. It was really nice to kind of break it up. Every time you're holding that chord out, that's a D and you have an A. The open D, E string tuned down to a D, the A and an F sharp. So that just makes a D major chord. D, F sharp, A. It's a cool way to play that. Plays a D major with one finger like that. And then I'll bring it back.
Now the next part of the song is gonna go like this. We're gonna go over to a G power chord, 10th fret of the A, the 12th fret of the D, and the 12th fret of the G. That's a G power chord, 10, 12, 12. Like I said, you're gonna hit the bass note. Then you're gonna go hit the G string and the D and we're gonna to toggle between the G string and the D string. And then we're gonna change our bass note from the G to the F sharp on the ninth fret of the A string. And then we're gonna go up here to a C note. That's the 10th fret of the E. When we're tuned down to drop D, it's gonna be a C note. You're gonna do that same thing, you're gonna hit that and Toggle between G and D, and then we're gonna take, we're gonna flatten that finger so you have that, that E string, A string, the 12th fret of the D, and we're gonna reach our pinky fingers to grab the 14th fret of the D string and toggle between it being on and off. It's very bluesy. It's like a Chuck Berry thing. So between the G and the F sharp, and we have a C note, we're keeping our ring finger and our pinky exactly where they are. Do our little Chuck Berry thing. That's that part. Let's keep this moving. The next part, we have our intro. We have our open chord. Got this part. The next part's gonna go like this and it gets a little darker here. I love this. off of this live version. I'll post the link in the description, but I love what he does here. Uh, he's got the open D, an open drop D. Fifth fret A and the seventh fret of the D, so it forms a D power chord with that low D in the bass, and we're gonna go. And you're gonna flatten that first finger so we can play a hammer on, and a hammer from the fifth fret to the seventh fret. Now we're gonna grab our G note, fifth fret of that dropped D string, Flatten that. And we're gonna slide. We're gonna use our middle finger to slide to the eighth fret. And our first finger is going to grab the seventh fret of the D string, the A note. And you can toggle between those. up and hitting that seventh fret of the D with a vibrato. Again, if you're doing a solo acoustic performance of this and you don't have the drums and the bass and you know everybody else to worry about, you can embellish things like like he does, you know, you could just embellish things and, and it's, 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 I've done so many acoustic gigs in my life. I'm not, I'm no singer, uh, but as a, a lead guitar player in, in a band where we made a lot of our living playing acoustic gigs, I had on, you know, you, you have to learn to embellish things and, and to entertain your audience because this is entertainment and don't let that get lost. We're, we're supposed to be, it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be entertaining. So, you know, if it doesn't do this on the record, don't worry. A little ear candy, that grabs people's attention. And then you go back and you do your other thing. So that's that part. Then we're, it's gonna go into this. The drop D, and this might be the calling card of the entire song. that drop D power chord ring, you're gonna go ring finger, seventh fret B string to an F sharp. So we have, then your middle finger, seventh fret G. First finger, sixth fret G. Pinky finger's gonna go to the ninth fret of the high E string. Then we'll play the open E. So it's, and then we go, which is gonna be seventh fret D. 
fifth fret D, uh, I'm sorry, seventh fret B string, fifth fret B, and then our seventh fret of the G, the D note. So we have. Cool stuff. He'll break that up, I go. So we're gonna go here, this is that suspended chord again. And we'll bring the first finger on both of those strings, we'll bring the first finger back and leave the ring finger where it is. You can do the pinky finger if that's too much of a stretch. us to the last couple parts of the song here guys we've got and again there's so many different versions of this song so i'm kind of sticking to what we were watching in that in, in claudio's version from the early 2000s that demo version he's gonna go like this progression. We're going to go B power chord. You could just as easily go. And I've seen some people do that as well. But what he's doing in that live version, he's going B power chord. Then he just takes his first finger off. So you have the open E string and the open A string. And we'll go back to our suspended chord from the intro. And then you're going to... With the open D, with that open drop D, we can toggle between a B note and a C sharp. And just kind of riff on it. Using that open drop D chord as a pedal tone. We've talked about pedal tones before. We could play them in between every other note in a passage. You got a pedal tone riff. Part. It's going to bring us to the last piece of this song. We're going to go like this. So, and the, the, the choppy rhythm here is going to be down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Make sure you get that. We're going to go first finger, seventh fret of the E, seventh fret of the A as well. We're going to cover both of those. Your pinky finger to the tenth fret of the D. And here we go down, up, up, down. And then we'll bring it down to the ninth fret. Down, up, up, down. Slide this chord shape now over to the tenth fret. And then we'll play our the first chord of the song, that, that B, drop D, B power chord. So we have... We'll come back up here, 10th fret, 10th fret, 12th fret. Four rounds of that down, up, up, down. And it's gonna fade out. You're gonna do that till it fades out. So that is all of the parts for the most part. Anyway, that's all the parts of this song. It is a lot of fun, guys. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Keep the requests coming. We're gonna do more acoustic stuff. I'm gonna do the rest of 2113. I'm gonna do the rest of the final cut. Very excited for all of that, guys. Be well, stay safe, have a happy new year. Bye.